active or passive? It's one of the great debates of our time. Let's see what one of the country's leading experts has to say on the subject. I recently conducted an in-depth interview for my Elite Investor Club members with Mark Dampier, the head of research for financial giant Hargreaves Lansdowne. We got onto the whole topic of active versus passive fund managers and fees, and he had some very interesting points to make. Firstly, he said that masterly inactivity doesn't sound very professional, but it tends to produce better results than constantly chasing the latest hot trend in the market. But that doesn't mean he's in favour of passive investing as the only show in town. He refers to the passive brigade as a quasi-religious sect who won't consider any other approach. But he's looked at lots of passive portfolios and the performance hasn't been that great in recent years. He thinks because of over-reliance on asset allocation rather than on stock picking. Then he came out with a statement that might shock a lot of people on the high street, but hopefully not you if you're a regular viewer of Renegade Investor TV. Mark said, let's be frank, most active funds are rubbish, at least 90% of the market. I concede that to the passive brigade every time. If you've got funds with active managers, when did you last check their performance? Chances are they're in the 90% that Mark's referring to, and you'll be paying eye-watering charges for mediocre performance. But here comes the crunch. The 10% of active managers who are good have seriously outperformed the passive trackers such that their higher fees become irrelevant. In Mark's words, they've slaughtered the passive brigade. If you're a Hargreaves Lansdowne client, you're probably familiar with their Wealth 150, their list of recommended funds from the mind-blowingly big universe of over 2,500 funds available to us in the UK. But to reinforce the extent to which we're looking for needles in haystacks, Mark admitted that the Wealth 150 now contains just 90 funds. As Hargreaves Lansdowne refine their criteria for analysing performance, ever fewer funds are reaching their benchmark. But I would argue that even 90 funds is too big a choice for most people, especially novices. Andrew Craig agrees, using just a handful of funds to implement his own the world strategy for his clients at Plain English Finance. They're a kind of hybrid with each fund's constituents carefully selected to give global coverage and then passively managed. Mark Dampier conceded that for first time investors, passive funds with low charges are a better option than throwing darts at the FT to decide which active funds might be any good. But for the more sophisticated and experienced investor who's following a defined strategy, searching for the star fund managers in specific sectors will give you the best overall returns. What's the best way of becoming a sophisticated investor? Joining the Elite Investor Club. Access to the full interview with Mark Dampier is just one of the many treats waiting for you at EliteInvestorClub.com. If you think you can find the high-performing needles in the active fund haystack without any help, be very careful out there. Banks may be closed, ATMs could stop working or limit withdrawals like we saw in Cyprus. Interest rates could be doubled or trebled overnight. 